Hi guys, this is Dante with Drive and Thrive and welcome to another episode of Uber Eats Academy. Today is going to be all about how to get a 5 star rating with Uber Eats. Watch to the very end and make sure to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss out on new tips and tricks for Uber Eats, DoorDash and Postmates. Now, the first thing to consider when you're trying to get a five-star rating is delivering the food on time. I know that seems obvious, but it really is an important part of being an Uber Eats delivery driver. Unfortunately, it's not always up to you whether or not the food gets to the customer on time. The restaurant may be delayed in actually making the order. Someone else may have had the order previously and canceled, and you may be the second or third driver to actually be pinged to go pick up the order. So, one helpful tip that I have for you in any of these situations is to text and call the customer if any problem arises with the order. So if you're going to be late, if the order isn't busy, uh, isn't ready, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, give the customer a call or text to let them know. Now, on the Uber Eats app itself, it has a helpful little um, button that you can press that says, order is not ready. Now, if the order is not ready, feel free to cancel the order and move on to your next order. And uh, that is a situation that happens from time to time, which is unavoidable. But one thing you should do is, Go ahead, cancel those orders because it helps you two ways. It helps you one by, you know, you can go ahead and go to your next order, but it helps you in a, in a second way. The customer won't be upset with you and won't give you a low rating for delivering their food lately. And it also allows the customer to know that the food isn't quite ready yet. So they won't blame you necessarily. Make sure not to cancel too many orders because canceling orders is a bad thing. You can get deactivated. Don't cancel, cancel, cancel. But only cancel when you, you've given the restaurants a few minutes. You know, it doesn't look like they're going to be done anytime soon and you want to move on to the next order. So go ahead and cancel orders if necessary. Another thing you can do is text and call customers when you're on their way. Now, with DoorDash, and Postmates, but DoorDash specifically, I used to do this protocol. As soon as I get an order, I would text the customer to know that I'm headed to the restaurant. When I arrive at the restaurant, I would text the customer to know that I'm on my way, right? Then I would text the customer when I actually arrived, going to the So I text, 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 text. With Uber Eats, I have found that this is total overkill. You don't need to do all that texting. It's a little bit too much. But what I still like to do with Uber Eats is when I picked up the order and I'm on my way to the restaurant, uh, on their way to their house, I give them a quick text with the ETA. So I'll say, hi, I've picked up your food. You know, I'm uh, ETA approximately five minutes. I'm on my way. Right. And when I arrive, here's another tip. Treat the job like a customer service job. Arrive with a smile. You know, arrive with a positive attitude. Say, how, how are you doing? Be, be nice. Be polite. And you'll find yourself getting higher and higher ratings as you, know, as you become more and more polite. Another tip that you can do, and I don't find that this is necessary with Uber Eats as much as with DoorDash. But with DoorDash, I like to have a little, a little uh, sucker that I give with, uh, to the customers. Just as a little added treat. So you, you can find you know, uh, certain ways to give your personal touch. But just try to stand out from other drivers and you'll be more likely to have the customer rate you five stars at the end of the trip. Now, this isn't all, you know, I'm not saying to do this, but especially if you're struggling with your star rating and you want to and you want to get higher and higher, you might find yourself, look, uh, um, go to a, the dollar store, buy a bag of treats, candy, whatever. And just include that extra. And make sure they know it's extra, right? Hand them their food and say, oh, hi, and here's a little treat. I know it sounds weird, especially if you're a man. <laughs> you might be like, what? I'm going to hand these guys a sucker, you know? But you'll find that it goes a long way to helping you out. So um, finally, this is something that I think you should do if you ever have a negative interaction with any customer on Uber Eats, whether that's by phone, in person, whether or not um, 
something crazy happens, like there's crazy traffic on the road and it's taking you 30 or 40 minutes to actually deliver the food to the customer, keep a record of every poor interaction you have. So if they report you to Uber Eats and Uber Eats contacts you, you can have a record and you can say, oh yes, I remember that trip. On that trip, what happened was uh, there was just tons of traffic that day. You know, I called and I text the customer to let them know. Oh, I remember that trip. Yes, on that trip, uh, the customer started to yell at me for no reason. And so just make sure whatever the situation is, you, you document it so you can cover your behind later. And those are all the tips I have today on how to maximize your ratings with Uber Eats. If you have been an Uber Eats driver and I left anything out, please leave a comment below. Let me know what I left out and help teach the Uber Eats community as a whole. And remember to drive and thrive.